Hey everybody, Sean with the Good Dog. And we've got Miss Billy Brown off to the vet. We're walking to the vet. And uh, Billy's 12 weeks. A lot of folks can't walk their dogs in 12 weeks. Let's go, lady. They especially can't walk their dogs like this in a nice, relaxed fashion. <laughs> a lot of folks feel like, a lot of folks feel like they have to wait and tell, you know, there's a lot of stories around there, you know, around there. A lot of stories going around that you have to wait till they're six months or they're five months or worse, they're a year or something like that. She's seeing a dog. No, she actually parks at the dog. She'll get corrected for the dog. Because even at 12 weeks, we're starting the patterns of proper behavior, right? So people are like, oh, it's so cute, it's a puppy. It won't be cute when it's six months old, a year old, two years old, and that puppy that was like cutely barking at other dogs or people or bikes is now misbehaving and is a total reactive mess. So go after it now and don't feel guilty because, oh, it's my puppy and she's just expressing herself. Bullshit. Start the correct pattern now so you have a great dog as they grow. So let's keep walking, keep filming. Let's go. Yep. And of course, she's far from perfect. She's still like super distracted. She gets, she gets a little bit worried about things. She'll try and pick leads up and anything else she can. So the protocol, and once again, is not only teaching her a position, but it's also helping me guide her through things like trying to pick stuff up, which I don't want her to do, or if she needs to be corrected for targeting or, or she's not really targeting, but barking or being reactive to another dog, I can actually communicate with her in an effective way. Try doing that with like a harness or with a martingale and you end up with a dog that you're like tugging on, the dog doesn't really care, you're having to use way more pressure. With this, you see how I'm walking with her, it's like, it's effortless. Why would you not want effortless? Why would you not want a fucking puppy at 12 weeks old that you can walk and have fun with? Like, what do you got up here? What is this? Is it a dog? Yeah. You can tell if it's a turkey or a dog. Or <laughs> so, she's worried. Work it good. Good night, lady. So, without a prong collar, she would have been even less. She would have been more worried and less connected to me to be able to give her to, to be able to give her information about not to worry. So she was concerned about that dog will sniper attack. But once again, people with kinder, gentler tools leave their dogs disconnected from communication from them, and so the dogs are more worried about their world, more worried about that dog, more worried about a bicyclist, bicyclist more worried about people coming up or what have you. And so the prong collar not only helps you get your dog into a great heel position and teaches them how to walk nicely with you, but it helps keep them in direct connection and communication so you can help these dogs move through the world in the best way possible, healthily, happily, safely, comfortably. And like, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm baffled that people wouldn't want to have a young puppy be able to walk with them like this. And it's all because prong collars are so bad and evil and like, does she look terrible? shut down, learned helplessness. We're working through it. Anyways, we got a vet uh, appointment to catch, so I just wanted to show you a little bit of her. And uh, you stay here, we're gonna walk across the street, film us as we walk, it'll be a nice like exit shot. Okay. Yep. Come on, lady.